Hi, today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to do a case study or portfolio page on the WordPress salient theme. Um, and in particular, how to add a feature image for that case study or portfolio page. So I'm going to just navigate to the case studies page. And as you can see here, we've got three case studies. And here's one that I've prepared earlier. Um, I'll just click into this quickly so you can see what we're looking at. Okay, we've got a video here. Uh, I've got a quote and some project attributes. And then we've got some copy on the left, on the below the, the video. So if we go to the next project or case study, slightly I've done this a bit differently. This time I've done uh, put a logo up here in the top right corner, and the majority of text here on the left hand side. And here's the final one. As you can see, all of the information is here on the right, and there's a big black square. What it's actually doing is it's pulling um, a featured image um, that doesn't exist. So we're going to go to edit this portfolio item or case study item. And as you can see here, all the content is in this section here, the default WordPress editor. If you scroll down the page, you'll see that there's another content area called extra content. This is actually where we want to put most of our content because we, whatever we put in this top section here uh, is going to appear on the right hand side on, on the sidebar. Um, so I'm going to just copy all of this content and move it from there and then I'm going to paste it in this bottom section. And in this top section, so if I update this and view that change, okay, perfect. So the content's now sitting underneath, well, it's sitting on the left hand side, which is where we want the majority of our content to be. Um, so we're going to go back to the editing page and I want to remove this image. So to do that, scroll down to the options. And we want to select this box here, hide featured image. Okay, and update. And refresh this page. Beautiful, you can see that featured image is gone from the side here. But with the other uh, case studies, I have some really nice project attributes in the right hand side. So I'm going to go back to our project that we're working on and I'm going to firstly add it to the correct category because this case study um, pertains to debit order collections and I want to give this project some attributes. Um, here are some I've created earlier. So I'm going to select these. And I might add, I just might pull some from the text as well, see if there's any different ones. Okay, I'm going to pull business management and add it to as an attribute to the project. Click add. And now you should see it here. There it is, business management. Okay, so if I update this and view the updated page, now we can see that we've got some projects attributes um, on the right hand side. 
So how do I get a logo or another piece of content to, to also go into this sidebar section? All we have to do is add it to this top content area, not this one at the bottom. We add it to this top one. So I'm going to add the, the logo for night security. Update, going to refresh the page. Okay, perfect. It's a bit small, but it's it's okay. We, you can always get a, a bigger logo and add it there. Um, you might even want to add the website. You might want to link this logo to their website. I think it'll be a nice um, payback to, to Night Security Solutions for letting them use letting um, three peaks use them as a case study so I'm going to quickly get the link to the website and I'm just going to click on this image here and to link it to the website just click the link button add the URL and I want to open it in a new link or new tab sorry add Update. Update. And then I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, so we've got headings here. Um, I don't particularly like this one, so I might um, I might change it to a different one. Let's just see what would be a nicer. Let's see what it looks like as an H2. H2 is quite nice. Uh, what about an H4? H4 is also really nice. So let's go with H4 for all these Okay, and I also want to add a bit of space um, between this quote and this leave a reply section. So I'm just going to press enter, remove the formatting, and I'm going to add a ne Think Nectar shortcode. I'm going to add a divider. Uh, no line and I want about 25 pixels of padding there. I also want to do the same for um, this heading and this statement here. I think it's just a bit too tight. So I'm just going to add line break and add a divider and let's use 15 should be enough. And I'm going to update and refresh the page. Okay, so this is looking much more readable now. It's a nice uh, differentiation between the headings or the questions and the answers. You might also like to add more space between um, questions, but if you feel it works like this, then that's fine too. I don't feel this is working, so I'm just going to change that back to normal text, and I'm actually going to pull this out and put it. Um, I'm just going to leave it out and leave it as normal text. So 
all I have to do is highlight the text and unclick the block quote button. Okay, and the last thing we want to do is we want to add or fix up the case study image um, or feature image. So I don't want it to be um, because at the moment it's pulling the logo, but I, I really want it to full, fill the whole square. So I'm going to quickly go to the website for Night Security Solutions and just find an image and use that image. That's a good one. Okay. I'm going to save this in the three pigs folder. Okay. And let's see how this fits within uh, that, that square. So I'm going to go back to the item that we're editing, the case study, and I'm going to go to the feature image section, upload the file that we just saved. Here it is. And I'm going to give it a proper title. So I want the title to be Night Security Feature Image. Just in case the, the image doesn't display, I want to also say Night Security Feature Image. Okay, and let's see how that looks. So I'll put that in there. I'll save or we'll update. And I'm going to go refresh the page. So the page I want to refresh is the case studies page. So it hasn't refreshed as yet. Let's try again. Okay, let's go see why that's not pulling in the correct image. Let's go down to the, um, okay, here are the project settings. So I want to, previously we had set the feature image to um, this logo. So I'm going to remove this. Okay. And let's update that again. And we'll refresh this page. Okay. It's really nice. Um, I think it'd be nice to have this logo, um, more centered. So I'm quickly going to open up that file in Photoshop. And I'm going to crop it there. I think that's going to be a much nicer crop of this image. So, okay, I'm going to save that as a web image. I'm going to go back to my case study and just change this image here to the new one, the new cropped version. Okay. A good idea when updating an image uh, in WordPress is don't delete the first one before uploading the updated one. Um, the reason for this is because if you delete, if I were to delete this before having uploaded the updated image, the, the image change won't necessarily show when I refresh this page because it, it will get, the old image will be cached um, and then I'll have to clear my cache um, to then see the correct image. So first upload the image, then delete the old one you can keep it and then just give it the correct title and alt text. Save that, update, and refresh the page. So it's looking much nicer now. Um, so that's how you do it. Um, maybe we can just change this last one here. Um, 
while we're here so I'll just go to it and I'll edit because I'm logged in I can directly edit the page that I'm looking at and I'm going to go down remove this custom thumbnail image and we're going to set a new one okay quickly going to just create an image here and I'm going to crop this image save as Pilates in motion. Okay. There's the image. Select it. Give it a correct um, title and alt text. Update the page. and see if it's updated yeah perfect so that's how you do a case study thank you very much